Hey, welcome everybody to Coast Guys Adventures, and I finally made it to Mammoth Cave. I'm a little early, lots of early. I'm surprised I actually made it here this early from my left at like seven o'clock. It's a six hour and 30 minute drive. So it's like I made it before one o'clock. So I was like, extra surprised with the traffic. So it's it's kind of hot out here now, like getting to 80 degrees. But um, I'm excited to get to the, the tour. My tour doesn't start till 345, but my check-in time for um, for me to actually check in for my the uh, the reservation part for me to set up my tent and all that stuff that doesn't start till three o'clock so whatever happens I'm just early so what I'm gonna do is eat some food because I'm hungry right now and then I'm gonna go into the visitor center and see what that's all about <laughs> I didn't want to bring out the big camera. My arm's going to kill me. <laughs> to be a tourist and start buying something, that's what I should do. Well, that jacket looks nice. Want information? Go right there. If you want to get your ticket early, you can do that. And then you'll meet where your um, tour is at, right over there. Um, but if you want any information, ask, this, ask the rangers here and they'll help you out with any information you need for the tours. I go broke for broke. I'm gonna try to buy that bison stuff animal because I love bisons, but it's a cool visitor center. <laughs> it's a very cool visitor center and it's cool, meaning that it's it's hot out here. It's hot out here. If you want to just wait inside, I would recommend you wait inside, but it's hot. But I gotta wait until 3.45 to start my cave tour, so I have some time. I have a lot of time right now, over an hour. So that's where I'm at. All the tours at Mammoth Cave are pretty much all booked up until the 20th. So I'm gonna be honest with you, if you're coming to the caves, if you're coming to Mammoth Cave, register two months in advance. You, you're allowed to do that online at the, at the uh, recreation.gov um, on their app. Just do it guys, because when you come here, there's like no reservation if you're trying to do it at the last minute, like none. So I would recommend you actually do your reservations online and make sure you get like the tours that you want and see if any like which ones you want for the difficulties of the tours but um like i said reservations get those when you're coming to mammoth cave snake avenue black snake avenue alexa is about double the size of your hallway at home we'll be walking down black snake crossing over side saddle pit and the bottomless pit eventually making it to a place that some people like to call children's delight its real name is Fat Man's Misery. <laughs> that man's that is our visitor's last call for the 345 historic tour assembled at Shelter A. Last call for 345, Shelter A. Fat Man's Misery is what we like to call a keyhole passageway. Imagine it like the old skeleton uh, style keyholes. It's nice, big, and open at the top. 
And then once it gets to the bottom, it's a slot. And so you'll be walking kind of sizing through that slot. It'll be nice and big around your torso, but the narrowest point at your hips is narrower than my hat is wide. If you are claustrophobic, this is not the tour for you. <laughs> if you were to get to that point, turn to either myself or Ranger Tegan and say, Ranger, I don't have the strength to go forward. Well, we're gonna tell you, well, you're past the halfway point. So you're gonna find the strength <laughs> and you are going forward. And so once you make it through the 125 feet of Fat Man's Misery, the floor comes up three feet and the ceiling never got the memo. And you've entered Tall Man's Agony which is about 35 feet when you walk like this. Uh, then once you get out to the other side, you can stand up, you can stretch because you have reached Great Relief Hall. Named as such, it, had, you, it is a great relief to stand up again. And then we're going to keep on going down deeper into the cave, eventually getting to a place called River Hall, 310 feet below the surface. That means it's all uphill from there. <laughs> We'll make our way up into Sparks Avenue, a nice winding passageway similar to Black Snake. Eventually coming out to the bottom of a 178 foot tall vertical shaft called Mammoth Dome. We'll climb a spiraling fire tower, all 178 feet up, regaining most of the height we lost over the previous part of the tour. And then we'll make a nice walk out Little Bad Avenue, finally back into those big passageways, coming back to the other side of the rotunda, out Houch and Snarrows, up the stairs to the historic entrance that you all have completely forgotten about at that point. And then there's one final hurdle. A six foot long, three foot wide, black squishy mat full of woolite and water. The government is going to clean your shoes today. We have a fungus in our cave called white nose syndrome. It's killed 90% of our bats here. And so to ensure that it doesn't spread to any other caves, we're going to clean off the bottoms of your shoes to make sure you don't take it with you. And if you wear sandals today, well, you're probably gonna get a free foot cleaning as well. And it is required to walk across once you enter the cave, just to let you all know. So, does this tour sound like something you guys are all interested in today? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So if your tickets do say 345 historic tour, follow myself and Ranger Tegan on Down the Hill. Watch yourself. so fake but it's real like like it just you know how they do that popcorn type of like wall thing they have in some places this is what it looks like but it's so but it's real fat man's misery <laughs>
Daryl. That is Daryl. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's really narrow. Is this what they were talking about? This is what they were talking about. Narrow, narrow, and like. <laughs> Don't touch me. Like, how can you not touch the rock? The rock's touching us. Yeah. It'd be a little embarrassing to get stuck in here, wouldn't it? I know. Oof. Mm -hmm. I was wearing her favorite pair of jeans because that didn't <laughs> make it ripped. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Did yeah, it? no, we didn't think that about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lift this all the way up. I didn't think that was gonna be that narrow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go. Good thing that can see that. Watch yourself right here. It's like trying to step on. That's a high step. That's yeah. Yeah, it's a slippery step too. Yeah, that's why I said it's a really slippery step right there. Whew. Oh, there's a bat. <laughs> it's like, hey, here you guys, you got all this thing in the bat. <laughs> Indoor plumbing. <laughs> It's so weird. It's like you're you're in a cave and then there's a bathroom yeah. up there. <laughs> oh no, this is it's fake. <laughs> no one's gonna believe this is real. This is Harry Potter. Am I it? No? Okay, I thought it was just Nick. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Maybe that's where she got the idea. I <laughs> know. Like no bathrooms for like two hours. Yeah. The lies. <laughs> this is all fake. <laughs> We're all in the all matrix. Right. This is all lie. Oh, this is getting narrow and narrower. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, no. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh -huh. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> They guess what more steps, my God. Oh. <laughs> Those last steps. All right, as of this desperately killing time, waiting for the group to catch up, does anyone have any questions? Oh, oh they have 160 different species. And one of them normally hangs around here. So we'll see if I can find one wow. that does. Normally, I see it as even you know, down here whenever people look up and scream. So. Oh my God! Please. <laughs> uh, oh no. I'm not seeing anything right now. I'm looking for a cave cricket. Ah. How many of them are islands? Um, a good portion of them are islets. Um, not cave crickets. So they actually eat up on the surface, and they're one of our cave stone species. They come down and bring down their poop. <laughs> and everything else is sustained off the cricket poop. Hey, natural life. Uh, don't sit on the rock, please. Oh. <laughs>
But yeah, there are a lot of different species, from cave crickets to beetles, eyeless fish and crayfish, even eyeless shrimp, and a lot of other stuff. Any other questions? Did, did they use dynamite to do any blasting when they were mining down here? No, they were mining the dirt. They just used a shovel. Are you well known to All right, so it looks like we are all here. Folks, you did it! Woo! You climbed the tower! That means you guys are halfway up out of the cave. Halfway? What? We still have the stairs at the entrance of the hill we walked down. Oh. But folks, I hope you guys have learned how important curiosity has been in the history of Mammoth Cave. Today we have learned how the curiosity of those early settlers coming down here into the cave led to them discovering that saltpeter which helped us win the War of 1812. You guys have followed your own curiosity today as you have been following in the footsteps of all the countless tourists that have been here before you, making Mammoth Cave one of the oldest tourist attractions in our nation. We've learned how curiosity can get the better of you, but also how the curiosity like that of Stephen Bishop led to one of the first explosions of New Cave being found in the history of Mammoth Cave. I hope you guys continue following your own curiosity onward to your next adventure. Be it another cave tour here, be it another national park cave like Jewel Cave or Wind Cave or Carlsbad. But if you came down here today and you're thinking, man, this cave tour was awful. I never want to go in a cave again. Well, thanks for trying. <laughs> it's perfectly okay. Caves are not for everyone. Go out and explore some of our other over 400 national park sites. Go out there and find your park. I most definitely have found mine. So on behalf of the National Park Service, myself and Ranger Tegan in the back, thank you guys so much. You guys were a wonderful tour group. <laughs> But folks, there's still more cave to see, so what do we say? Onward! The river Styx in Greek mythology, I believe, is underground and dark, so in that sense it's appropriate, right? Okay, we're done. Going to sleep. I'm hungry. <laughs> Whew. Ah. Steps will kill you. Steps will kill you. Thank you all so much for coming along. Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. You're the best. Thank you. Woo. Am I going to see that online somewhere? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Where will I find it? Oh, uh, well, I haven't started it yet. Mm -hmm. But it'll be. It'll have Mammoth Cave in there somewhere. All right. I'll, I'll look around on YouTube in a couple weeks. Ah, look yeah, forward to thanks. It. The thing is, I have two more tours. I want tomorrow and then one on the 19th. And those tours, I think, they'd be, is a little bit more challenging. But if I took those steps, in this tour, I think I, can, I think I can do it. I think I can hang in here. But we're gonna see by tomorrow. But I'm hungry right now. And again, I'm hungry again, but let's cook some food. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please keep subscribing to Coast Guys Adventure. Don't go anywhere. More footage of Mammoth Cave is coming soon in the future. Also, more adventures is coming to the channel as well, like the Great Smoky Mountains. We have the Everglades National Park and Yellowstone National Park. So more is coming to the channel for you guys to watch. And so until then, I will see you later.